Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Don't forget tonight, we've got the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 7.35 p.m. We'll be talking about Hurricane Lee as it moves northward. We've got warnings posted for uh, New England and for uh, Atlantic Canada. Uh, we'll update you on what the watches and warnings are and go into detail about what you can expect. And also, there's some nice weather to talk about, too. And we'll get all into that tonight at 7.35 p.m. Uh, the Weather in 5 is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. Mulch, topsoil, sand, salt this winter, and whatever hardware you might need to make sure your home is safe during a tropical storm or a hurricane. 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. Tempest by Weatherflow. Get the revolutionary Tempest weather system. Join the fastest growing observing weather network on the planet. The link is pinned to the descriptor to this video. And if you do make a purchase there, use the coupon code I want a weather station. And if you do, you get 10% off. So there's Hurricane Lee, well defined and obvious on the satellite, uh, continuing its northward march up the east coast but offshore. Bermuda has been experiencing tropical storm conditions all day long today, and it is a large hurricane. In terms of the coverage, uh, this storm is almost 500 miles across, and the gales go out quite a bit, 250 miles uh, to the east and over 200 miles to the west. So even though the center is probably going to pass east of Cape Cod by 175 miles or so, it's still going to be close enough that the Cape will probably experiencing will be experiencing tropical storm force winds of 50 knots or higher. And the gales may actually go, wind up going all the way back to eastern Long Island. I would not at all be surprised if that were the case. And it will also be on the breezy side uh, in areas just to the west. But the main thrust of this is going to be for eastern New England, particularly for Maine and for Atlantic Canada, because that's where we think the landfall is going to be, either in southeasternmost Maine or over the Bay of Fundy or even right over western Nova Scotia. The 2 p.m. advisory, 31 north at 68.4 west. Max winds are now 85 miles an hour, moving north at 14, so it is moving a little bit faster, and we would expect the uh, acceleration to the north to continue. Uh, the track is north-northeast, for tonight into Friday, and then a bend back north or even a little bit of a curve back to the north-northwest when it gets to near Cape Cod, and then it'll turn north and northeast again, making, at least from the standpoint of the forecast, uh, on the west coast of Nova Scotia. At this point, the Hurricane Center thinks it might be post-tropical, but it really isn't going to make a difference in terms of the outcome of what you can expect weather-wise. And uh, the graphic here is a little on the tight side. I mean, I'm not sure why they did this uh, this way, but the cluster of the hurricane tracking models pretty much uh, in the w touching southeastern Maine for the center to make a landfall perhaps on the westernmost part of that uh, envelope and then uh, western Nova Scotia on the eastern part. So we're pretty sure that that's going to be the uh, the place where this is all going to uh, play out. And here's what it looks like on today's GFS run. And you see it there east of uh, this morning anyway, or this afternoon uh, at, 30, at uh, almost 32 degrees north, starts to move north, northeastward, uh, well, passes well to the northwest of Bermuda right now. Then it turns northward and then kind of bends back northwestward. This is uh, 2 a.m. Saturday, and you're seeing a depiction of the radar here on this view. So uh, the lightest green may be indicating rain that doesn't exactly reach the ground because there's a lot of dry air in the northeast right now. So that might uh, be a bit overdone. The darker greens, yeah, the rain is definitely reaching the ground there. And by Saturday morning at 7 a.m., you see where the center is well out to the east and heavier, darker bands of rain, the darker greens and the yellows in southeastern New England and also along the coast of, La of uh, Maine, in the Gulf of Maine, and heading into western Nova Scotia. Uh, it's by Saturday afternoon, uh, a landfall and a track over the Bay of Fundy, and then on and up to the northeast. So I think that's pretty well locked in. It might be, it might vary a few miles. Maybe it winds up being a few miles further to the west. At the end of the day, I don't think it matters 
uh, in terms of the uh, outcome here. So on the radar this afternoon, obviously it's quiet from Maine all the way down to North Carolina. We got some action with thunderstorms scattered around in parts of Georgia and through parts of the Gulf states and in East Texas moving into western Louisiana. And also with another weather front, we've got some showers and a few storms from Minnesota southwestward into the Dakotas and also uh, in parts of Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and in Colorado. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk in eastern New Mexico and then kind of staking down to the coastal bend of Texas. Otherwise, uh, much of the east, uh, the Midwest, the Ohio and Tennessee Valley, and into the Mississippi, the Middle Mississippi Valley, and Missouri River Valley, showing no thunderstorm activity for today. For tomorrow, uh, which is Friday into Saturday, again, no thunderstorm activity. Uh, with Lee offshore, the atmosphere in the east is fairly stable, and you'll have a marginal risk in West Texas and eastern New Mexico. And for day three, which is Saturday into Sunday, uh, again, no thunderstorms, even with the rains that are going to be falling along the coast of Maine and uh, eastern Massachusetts, southeastern Massachusetts, maybe even back to Rhode Island. Uh, no thunderstorms are being indicated by the Storm Prediction Center. And as far as rainfall is concerned, I'll give you a close up view with respect to uh, Lee. And you see the rainfall amounts. Now, there's a back edge of a few hundredths. That, that this would be Friday night into early Saturday morning that maybe something backs in from the from the east on the backside of the hurricane, some kind of renegade band uh, that produces uh, anywhere between a few hundredths and maybe a little more than a quarter of an inch on the east end and in eastern Connecticut. That'll be pretty much done with, though, by Saturday morning. And then you see the higher rain amounts in uh, over the Cape, over Cape Cod, two to two and a half inches. Uh, also, some two and three inch amounts, particularly in the eastern part of Maine, where we even see some four inch amounts being indicated down along the coast. So as far as the overall weather is concerned, obviously today has been a great day. I think tonight will be fine. We'll probably have clouds coming in from the east tomorrow that will mask some of the sunshine. And with a northeast breeze, temperatures will probably have a tough time. Some places may not get out of the 60s tomorrow. We'll probably be upper 60s and low 70s for eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. There goes Lee. Uh, Saturday, the wind turns northwest. Uh, I think we could certainly see gusts of 30 to 40 miles an hour over eastern Long Island and eastern Connecticut and Rhode Island and 50 to 60 for Cape Cod and along the uh, east coast of Massachusetts and up the main coast uh, during Saturday morning into the afternoon. Once Lee gets far enough north, there should be enough dry air that comes in during Saturday afternoon so that the clouds will start to thin out and we'll see some sunshine. I think the it's going to be one of those days where the further west you go from the coast or the further northwest you go from the coast, the less cloud cover you see and the more sun you'll see. Sunday's looking good to start, but we do have another weather front approaching and maybe some showers uh, late in the day Sunday into Sunday night. And then an upper trough that comes uh, by on Monday uh, to bring in another dry air mass for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And yeah, you know, over the lower right, you just see the edge of what is probably going to be Hurricane Nate, which for now uh, looks like it's not going to be uh, an issue and we won't have to deal with another round of drama. So uh, again, tune in tonight to the Joe and Joe Weather Show. That is at uh, 7.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Time, 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time, and we'll have all the latest uh, on Hurricane Lee, the watches, the warnings, and everything else. See you then.